pie on trays, I'm doing bag and free. This is what I made was literally, I think, three days ago, I think. Some chopped soy. Hi, Tamari. My daughter's away. Cutting out my son's pizza. And bagging it like this, so grab wrap them. And then put them in the bag. Sold my muffin, and if you're wondering why I'm putting them glad wrap and then wrapping them individually, it's just so they don't stick together. I actually bought this pizza so my son could have it for a lunch, but he hasn't been wanting to eat it. So I'm going to pack three and you can have pizza today. Some bright balls, sausage. You know what I wish Coles and Woolies in my town? They mark down prices were way cheaper. And if you're wondering why I'm not freezing it as is, it's because it's the space. This should have been some light stimming. I got all this stuff like two days ago in the delivery done yesterday. Cooking bacon. My nice little pizza. So this is cooking bacon. This is like would be leftover bacon that's just put together like scraps. But most of it's more meaty than fatty. I just got it because it was it was eating. So if you're a big fan, this is this would be good. Or for catering, like catering a birthday, hosting a dining party and you've got like 20 plus gifts and this is what would be good for. And oddly enough because it's medium, it's, <laughs> it's actually better, it cost me 5 bucks. I mean that's the retail price. I'd probably go up maybe $6, it wouldn't surprise me, or maybe $5.15. A lot of food's going up, but you got to understand that it will come down eventually, just not straight away. So as the power goes up, all the food's going to also go up as well. So these are going to be for, like, my kids. For lunch. I thought I like sausages, so that's why I got them. See, that's the thing, but... Uh, I think how you're gonna have them. Mm. That's all my kids' lunches, I'll just probably pull that out. <laughs> this will be my daughter's lunch and dinner. Because I don't want to buy chicken nuggets and stuff. Because my daughter's taste buds have already changed. But she's sticking to the same thing. I need to try and get her out of that habit. I've already eaten quite a bit, but I'm so chicken now I'm kind of over it. One whole piece of chicken in. chicken salad with it. So if you name me a love rotisserie chicken and I just eat it pretty much eat the same thing. I'm kind of like a creature of habit but not. You know what I mean? I'm just going to take all the meat off, or as much as we can. Usually I would have made this a broth, but I was going to use it for, make a chicken broth for some dumpling, because I bought some dumpling wrappers that I didn't end up using, so I stuck them in the freezer. 
because I have some leftover dumpling mix, which I still do, and it's in the freezer. I got some chicken stock anyway. I think I might just keep the carcass and still make the broth. But I'm probably going to roast it again and then boil it. The reason why they're taking to the chicken stock. If it's dark, we'll go buy chicken if it's dark. It's the bones and all that stuff have been roasted and then they've been boiled. If it's a clear, it means the carcass wasn't roasted. Actually, I was going to use the stuffing, but I think I might just leave it in there. It'll flavour the soup. To eat a whole bird like this, it will take me a couple of days, if I only eat that and not anything else. Which is what I've been doing, that's why there's only a little bit. I'm just breaking out my chicken, so it's all ready for the chicken potato salad. Or maybe chicken egg salad, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. I bought these. Or, say like I'll have maybe this. I say this wasn't in the package, it be in the same packet. That was supposed to be the idea. Chicken salad, no chicken sandwiches, but that's what I've been eating for like, I don't know, two days straight. Because I was going through a chicken sandwich phase, you know. That's me, I'm one of those, like, if I'm craving something, I'll just go and eat that. And it's not about budget or anything, you've got other shit to eat, but you know. This These are supposed to be a hot dog, so. Yeah. We'll probably have like one each and then I don't know, I might just use the rest for a topping on a pizza or stir fry. Maybe my daughter wants to have it. That's the great thing, you gotta have options there. Eh? Some bones to make stock. Not right now, I'm just gonna put it in the freezer. So when I'm ready to make dumpling, a dumpling soup. I'll roast it, boil it, and then, you know, you get the idea. My kids' sausages for during the lunch. Some more chicken <laughs> from the rotisserie. I don't know what these sausages are going to be, but they're either going to be turned into a curry, or a dumpling, a something, a simple dinner. Maybe my daughter wants more, I don't really know, or I'll just squeeze them out, you know, add some beans, crush those up, and some breadcrumbs, eggs, whatever, make burger patties, I don't know, it's kind of endless to be honest. Bacon. Bacon. And do I use the whole thing at once? Uh, no. This is a little bit, so I'm probably going to leave this out. My son loves, like, mac and cheese and whatnot. Some chopped soy. I'm usually on there and use it, so I actually want to make a sauce. Not even use the bacon, I don't know. And make uh, a pork, pork or chopped soy buns, some muffins, and some pizzas. And I got like the burger patties that I bought, they were marked down like those or something, and they were like grass feed. So they better taste like they're grass feed because I can tell the difference between grass feed and grain feed. So there's a completely I mean they get fed grain, but when it's grain and like hay, it does not taste the same. Even the colour of the meat I can tell off right off the bat what it is, because you know I'm from the country, been on the farms, lived on farms, whatever and yeah. So anyways what do you do for preparation or meal prep? I think this is pretty good. Bye.